this video will go over extra practice for Big Idea 2, Standard 1. It will be a mix of orbital filling diagrams and electron configuration. As usual with our practice videos, the best way to use this resource is to pause the video, try number one on your own. Once you've tried it on your own, come back and see how you did. Check your answer with me. So let's get started. Number one, we are going to draw orbital filling diagrams uh, for A, sulfur, and B, for an oxygen ion with a charge of negative two. So remember our rules. We want to fill our orbitals in order of increasing energy. So the nice thing about this diagram is not only does it tell you the order of increasing energy, it also tells you how many orbitals you have. The little spheres tell you the number of orbitals. So there is one 1s one orbital. There is one 2s orbital. And remember, we use either lines or boxes to represent the orbitals. Once we get to 2p, there are 1, 2, 3, 2p orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 2p orbitals. After 2p comes 3s. There is one 3s orbital. After 3s comes 3p, and again, there are 1, 2, 3p orbitals. The number of orbitals that you need to draw will depend on the number of electrons that you need to place. So we would have to look up sulfur on our periodic table. Sulfur is atomic number 16. So as an atom, sulfur has 16 protons. It also has 16 electrons. We are going to draw arrows to represent the electrons. Remember, we can only fit two electrons in each orbital, and they must be spinning in opposite directions. The way that we represent spin is based on the direction of the arrow. Once the 1s orbital is filled with two electrons, we're going to move to the 2s orbital. We will fill that with two electrons. Once we get to 2p, remember Hund's rule. We need to fill each of the empty orbitals with one electron before they could go back and pair. So once all three p orbitals have one electron, then we go back and pair up. So far we've placed 10 electrons, we have 16 to go, so we're going to keep going. The 3s orbital, again, we're going to fill with two electrons. I am up to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Four electrons to go, they're going to go on our 3p orbitals. Again, Hund's rule. One electron in each of the three orbitals. 13, 14, 15. Then we can go back and pair up for electron number 16. Oxygen with a charge of 2 minus. Oxygen as an, as an atom has 8 electrons, but if it has a charge of negative 2, it has 2 more electrons. So we need to account for 10 electrons. Again, we can use our little uh, resource packet to help us. We always want to start with the lowest energy orbital first, which is 1s. One sphere means one orbital, I draw one line. Next is 2s. Again, one sphere, that means one orbital, one line. After 2s comes 2p. 1, 2, 3. Three spheres, that means I have three orbitals. That means I'm going to need three lines. And I have 10 electrons to place. So fill the 1s with two electrons. Once the 1s is filled, we're going to go to the 2s. Once the 2s is filled, we're going to go to 2p. Hund's rule, one electron in each of the three orbitals. 
Once you have one electron in each of the three orbitals, then you can go back and pair them up. Last step, make sure we accounted for all 10 electrons, not less, not more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we're good. All right, next, I want you to try number two, pause the video. Once you have your answer, unpause, come back and let's check your work. The easiest way to do number two is just to count the number of electrons. Remember the electrons are the exponents, so two, four, six. There are six electrons. These are all atoms. So that means that the number of electrons are equal to the number of protons. So I would also have six protons. Head to your periodic table. Atomic number six is carbon. Two B. Two, four, six, twelve, seventeen. And again, since this is an atom, if it has 17 electrons, it also has 17 protons. Protons are equal to the atomic number. Atomic number 17 is chlorine. All right, pause the video. Try 3, 8, B, and C. Come back when you're done, and we'll check your work. Phosphorus, as an atom, has 15 protons, 15 electrons. We're going to start with the lowest energy orbital, which is 1s. S could hold two electrons. Once the 1s is filled, we're going to move up to the 2s orbital. And again, s can hold two electrons. Once the 2s is filled, we're going to use the 2p. p could hold six electrons. Moving up in energy, after the 2p orbital is the 3s orbital, and again, s can hold two electrons. After 3s comes 3p. p can hold up to 6, but let's do a quick electron check. 2, 4, 10, 12. I've already placed 12, I only need 15. So this will end in 3p3. Selenium, atomic number 34. So we have a lot of electrons to place for this one. All right, let's follow our chart. We're going to start with the lowest energy level first, which is 1s. An S orbital could hold two electrons. Once the 1s is filled, we would go on to 2s, and again, 2s can hold two electrons. Next up would be 2p. A p orbital could hold six electrons. After 2p comes 3s. S could hold two electrons. After the 3s comes 3p. P can hold six electrons. Two, four, 10, 12, 18, let's keep going. After three P comes four S, and again, S could hold two electrons, that gets me to 20. After four S comes three D. D can hold 10 electrons. That gets me up to 30, so we have to keep going. After 3D comes 4P. 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 4. So this would end in 4P4. Last one, the sulfur ion. So again, we do ions and atoms the exact same way. The only difference is that atoms are neutral, so protons would equal electrons. If it is an ion, those two values will not be the same. 
So sulfur has an atomic number of 16, so sulfur has 16 protons. But if its charge is negative 2, it means it has 2 more electrons than protons. The sulfur ion must have 18 electrons. Once you know the number of electrons, we write it like any other electron configuration. We're going to start with the lowest energy orbital first, which is 1s, followed by 2s. S orbitals could hold two electrons. Once the 2s is filled, we go on to 2p. p could hold six electrons. Once 2p is filled, we go to 3s. s could hold two electrons. So far we've placed 12, we have 18 to go. After 3s is 3p, 6. Last step, just go back and double check, count your electrons, make sure you accounted for all 18 of them. 2, 4, 6, 12, 18, so we're good.